I would say one of the biggest differences between Alan Stein Jr. at 48 and Alan Stein Jr. at 38 was I was way too concerned with external circumstances and situations. I, I wanted to try and control my environment, which is really a futile point to take because what you're in essence trying to do is you're trying to fight against reality. And that's only a fight you'll lose 100% of the time. The other part that's really important to understand about mindset is it's not a fixed destination. Uh, I don't believe that you can just label someone as you know, having a great mindset or not having a great mindset. Uh, very similar to physical fitness, uh, I don't think someone can put their flag in the ground and say, hey everyone, I've arrived, I'm fit, unless they plan to keep working out, keep moving their body and keep you know, eating well. If they don't do those things anymore, then they'll no longer be fit. Uh, and it's the same thing with mindset. I know there's times in my life, even at present, where I tend to have a more empowering, stronger, winning mindset than other times. There's other times when, you know, I get in my own way. Uh, there's other times when I, I think thoughts or I even speak things into existence that, that aren't in alignment with a winning mindset and they actually undermine my ability to move forward and, and to develop. So just keep in mind that it's, it's something that's continuous and each and every one of us should be making the commitment to constantly grow and develop and evolve our mindset. And, and on some days where we don't do a great job of that, we need to give ourselves the grace and space to be less than perfect and to be human beings and to be fallible. And then on days when we're just in that zone and in that flow and we've got that winning mindset, I think you'll notice that, that the world just starts to conspire to help you out and things start to line up. Now, as far as the way I choose to define a winning mindset is simply every single day, I make the commitment to do the best I can with whatever resources I have, wherever I am. I do the best I can with what I have, wherever I am. I believe that is the foundation of a winner's mindset for a few reasons. Uh, number one, to, to take a page out of Jocko Willink, retired Navy SEALs book, uh, that's an attitude of extreme ownership. I'm well aware of the fact that I do not control external circumstances. I don't control situations. I don't control what other people say or what other people do but I always control my response to those things. So while I may not prefer some of the things that happen around me uh, in this world, uh, I always make sure that I take control of my response. So I just do the best I can with whatever resources I have available, wherever it is that I am. And I mean wherever, both literally and geographically and kind of on a metaphorical level, like where I am in my journey and my life. The reason that I love this is my own foundational operating system is it requires me to eliminate a trilogy of behaviors that I know from firsthand experience undermine confidence, undermine performance, undermine productivity, undermine optimism, really undermine everything that I'm working towards in my life. And, and those three behaviors are blaming, complaining, and making excuses. The sooner we can untether from the temptation to do the very human thing of blaming, complaining, and making excuses, then the more we'll be fully responsible for having that attitude and mindset of extreme ownership. And, and I think that really is the ultimate uh, foundation. So the sooner you can learn to accept and surrender to whatever the environment is throwing at you, whatever situations or, or experiences arise, but put your heart and soul into your response to those things, then you keep the keys to the car. Then you are the one that is in the position of power. And ultimately that's what having a winning mindset is all about. It's about making sure you have the power to navigate this world and to serve your clients and, and to just lead more fulfilling lives.